Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be reorganizing my whole closet. As you can see, I organized it a little bit already, but I just really didn't like how cluttered it still looked. The toys, it was too much. So we're actually going to take those two bins that the toys were in, and we're going to make a little hamper. So first, you're going to cut out one side of the bottoms, and then once you have that cut, you're going to stack both bins on top of each other. Once you have the bin stacked, now I'm going to use hot glue and E6000 to hold them together. So as you can see, I'm gluing around and then I'm using my clamps to hold it in place to make sure it's really secure. Now you could use any bins for this. These were just the ones that I had. So now I put the bag that I got from Dollar Tree, a mesh laundry bag, in the basket. And just to show you guys, all those clothes that were on the floor fit in here. So it does hold a lot. So now moving on, I'm going to show you a hanger hack that I found on TikTok. I absolutely love this hack. You get two paper tail holders from the Dollar Tree, and we're actually going to use them to hold our hangers. So first, you get little command strips. They clip right on the little hooks. As you can see, I'm pointing to them. And you'll put them on. I chose two for each pole because I just wanted it to be very secure. So I'm putting the command strips on the clips now and then I'll find where I want to put them and what's a good spot for them. I think I'm going to hang them where the hangers were previously hanging but it'll just look nicer because it won't take up all that space on the bar. So let's fast forward a little bit. I'm putting my hooks on the other paper tail holder and then I'll be ready to hang them up. So now I'm ready to hang them up. I'm going to put my first paper tail holder kind of against the wall there um, on the side where you can see that bar is so I can utilize all the wall space. And then I'm going to get a hanger and make sure my width is correct when I hang up the other one because you don't want to hang it too far or too close. You want to make sure they fit on just right. So now I'm going to hang all my hangers up. I absolutely love this hack. I feel like it creates more space. It just looks neater than them hanging on the bar. I don't know. I just really, really like this hack. So now, once I was done that, I'm actually going to take a Dollar Tree over the door hanger that's in black. And I actually pull back the hanger part and that usually goes over the door. And then it'll actually give you two extra hooks. So I'm nailing that to the wall. I tried command strips and it kept falling. So I just wanted to make sure it was really secure. So now you can see I used it to hang toys and stuff that I didn't have a bin for. And now we're going to move to the top shelf. I have all my bins. I had already organized all this stuff, but I just put them in piles of alike things. And then I put them all in their own separate bins with labels. So now I actually stacked the two bins that I had to make more room with their clothes in it. And then I put all their toys in these containers. I got all of these containers from the dollar store. These are the stackable ones. As you can see, I have the cars, the bubbles, the little people. They're great. They stack right on top of each other. And then the two baskets are also from the Dollar Tree. And they have the balls and the bigger toys in them. So now on the bar hanging, I have all my shower curtains and my regular curtains. And then below, I have the diapers, the wipes, socks, blankets. And here is an overview of how the closet turned out. I'm really happy with the results. I feel like it looks less cluttered. It's easy accessible. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And come back for the next one.